Hello, and welcome back to Off Grid Style. I'm Nikki, and I'm so glad to have you here today. Today, we are discussing how to signal for help in an emergent situation, and that could be an everyday situation where perhaps you've been, you know, gotten lost, or you have gone camping, or you're in a place where uh, you need help, and you have to signal, and you have to use what you have, or this could be in an SHTF situation, depending on, you know, I've seen pictures of people sitting on top of their roofs during a flood, and they need to signal for help in that situation. And there's myriad other times when people need to signal for help. So this will give you a few different ideas. Let's get started. Tools and Techniques for Signaling for Help in a Survival Situation In a survival situation, the ability to signal for help effectively can make the difference between rescue and prolonged isolation. We are going to look at various tools and techniques for signaling for help, ensuring you have the best chance of being located and rescued. If you enjoy this video, Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. You can have whistle signals, three blasts for attention. A whistle is a compact and loud signaling tool. You can often find multi-tools or other types of survival items that include a whistle. To signal for help, use three short blasts, approximately three seconds each, with a pause in between. This universal distress signal can carry over long distances, even in adverse conditions. Also, three gunshots. Be sure to aim carefully into a safe location, or banging something against a tree at regular intervals will signal for help. A signal mirror can be flashed to get attention. A signal mirror reflects sunlight in a directed beam. To signal for help, locate the target, such as an aircraft or search party, and flash the sunlight in their direction. Aim the flash at the intended recipient by aligning the mirror's reflection with your target. Now, let's discuss fire, the universal distress signal. Fire is one of the most effective ways to signal for help. You need to create a large, visible fire using dry, combustible materials. To send a signal, burn green vegetation or damp materials to produce thick, white smoke, a signal that can be seen from far away. You can also use Morse code to send flashing light messages. A flashlight or any bright light source can be used to signal Morse code. For example, three short flashes, followed by three long flashes, and then another three short flashes represents the distress signal SOS. Learn Morse code beforehand to communicate more effectively. It can also come in handy to communicate with other people in your group. Bright clothing to stand out in the wilderness. Wearing bright contrasting colors such as orange, red, or neon, can increase your visibility to search parties. In a survival situation, don't hesitate to use clothing or materials to create visible markers. Using signal flags as improvised communication. If available, create signal flags using any fabric or material. Wave these flags in a distinctive pattern to catch the attention of potential rescuers. Ground to air signals, SOS and X marks the spot. Use large rocks, logs, or materials found in your surroundings to create distinct ground to air signals. For instance, three campfires in a line or an SOS sign in a clearing can be seen from above. You can also form a large X on the ground in a clearing so it will be visible by air. 
Signal whips to make yourself seen. Attach a bright colored piece of clothing, like a shirt, pants, or bandana, to a long stick or branch to create a signal whip. Wave vigorously to increase your visibility. Shouting and yelling to vocalize your distress. Yelling or shouting can be a crucial way to signal for help when within earshot of potential rescuers. Use short, loud, and distinct calls like help or over here at regular intervals. Emergency radios to request professional assistance. If you do have an emergency radio, use it to contact local authorities or search and rescue teams. Provide them with your location, the nature of your emergency, and any other pertinent information. While you're here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. In a survival situation, effective signaling can be a lifeline. Being prepared with the knowledge and the tools to signal for help is essential. I hope you liked this video. Thought it was pretty cool to do. I um, learned a little bit while I was researching and putting this video together. I hope you learned something. Please let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, you guys are all great about this. And like I've said before, I feel like we learn from each other. So I always welcome your suggestions. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I will see you again soon. Thank you.